What's up guys, this is your own Ninja Wong Ava does in a super hat and welcome to the Modern Ninja YouTube channel. Now, as a martial artist who has trained in a variety of different styles over the years, I get a ton of questions from you guys every day. Questions like, what is my favorite weapon? Where did I train? How long have I been doing martial arts? And so on. But one question in particular truly baffles me. What is that question you may ask? Well, it's, is Taekwondo useful? Personally, I don't understand why people were even bothering to ask this question. For me, the answer is obvious. But the question kept coming up over and over. So it got me thinking, why? Like, why does this question keep coming up? Am I actually giving the right answer to the question? So I decided to put it to the test. Let's find out if Taekwondo is actually useful or not. First off, let's make sure we're all actually on the same page of what Taekwondo actually is. And the best place to learn what the definition of something is, is the dictionary, so let's check it out. Okay, so the Oxford Dictionary has the definition of Taekwondo to be a modern Korean martial art similar to karate. Uh, I, 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 I don't know what it is, but I don't think that's quite good enough for what we're talking about today. So uh, let's keep digging. All right, so here we go. Taekwondo is characterized by liking the video and commenting for the algorithm? Hang on, hang on, I think I read that wrong. It's a martial art characterized by its stand-up combat techniques, such as punching and kicking. The style keeps high emphasis on head height kicks, jumping kicks, spinning kicks, fast kicks, and all around throwing legs like an absolute champ. That has me thinking it's probably the style that Sanji from One Piece uses, but that's for, you know, a video at a different time. So it looks like for the most part, everything seems to check out. It doesn't prepare you for ground fighting very much, but that's not what the style is designed for, so that's okay. Because it's designed to teach someone how to fight while standing up, keeping your opponent at a distance with your legs, and following through with a combination that uses various parts of the body to keep your opponent on their heels. And along with kicking and hand techniques, most styles of TKD will train your combat speed, your reaction time, your accuracy, your stamina, flexibility, and a variety of other skill sets that are useful for both sport and real life combat. Now let's pause for just a second. I'm sure most of you already knew that part. So let's go into why I think this style actually gets a bad reputation and in my opinion it can be tracked down to two main reasons. Number one being the amount of Taekwondo schools in the world and in America specifically. With 3.6 million estimated to be enrolled in martial arts classes and 15.9 thousand martial arts schools in America alone, earning over $4 billion in revenue each year. And yes, that's billion with a B. It has been the case for decades that you could live pretty much anywhere in the country and be close to some form of martial arts school. And to be honest, more often than not, it's going to be either Taekwondo or Shotokan Karate. So uh, what does that mean? How is that relevant? Well, let me tell you, in terms of making money and spreading the art, it's fantastic. More people than ever have recognized the name Taekwondo and schools have the money to continue to teach it to thousands, if not millions of people. So where's the downside? Like, what's the problem? Well, with that also comes the fact that the integrity may not always be up to par. What I mean by that is there are many schools out there that we in the martial arts community call pay to win schools. What happens is over the years, instructors can give out ranks to their students that are not actually earned and they're not ready for it, just to keep them enrolled for the money. I like money. What inspired you to build a second Krusty Krab right next door to the original? Money. So over time in these schools, these people will teach the next generation and the cycle will continue to the point where the people like the public who have a limited understanding of how the art works now believe that people who are unprepared for their black belt is the norm in that style. And this actually affects all martial arts as a whole, but if you want me to do a video on that, blow this one up and I'll cover it later. That being said, there is a second factor that in my opinion has an even bigger effect on the reputation of Taekwondo. And that is when practitioners don't wear my merch, link in bio. <laughs> okay, okay, I am partly joking. 
But being serious, the other factor is the Olympics. And yeah, you heard me right. The Olympics gives the style a rep for being useless. Now let's break this down. Taekwondo has been used for competition since its creation. And it has specifically been in the Olympics for over 20 years now. Wow, 20 years. So old guys, not gonna lie. But uh, I'll have that existential crisis some other time. In martial arts competitions, there are different facets of the style that someone can compete in. There are katas or patterns, weapons, continuous fighting, point fighting, and lastly, the Olympic style sparring. This style of fighting is unique because hands are rarely used. In fact, there are many practitioners that spar with their hands nearly by their side the entire time. And gotta be honest, for someone that has no training in Taekwondo, looks pretty useless. I mean, yeah, I would just move in or tackle him. Like, I could take him to the ground. Well, yeah, that would be exactly the counter move for someone that likes to throw kicks. But also, um, what's your name? Like, your actual name? Oh, it's, it's Skate, you know, because the, the whole face thing. Okay, well, I guess that makes sense. Probably should have been able to tell that on my own. As I was saying, guys like Spade are missing some things. Taekwondo practitioners are lightning fast, and many of them, they're fast enough to kick you before you can even throw a single regular punch. Secondly, they're only looking at one facet of the style. It's kind of like if you were to look at just the lead of a mechanical pencil and be confused at how you'd ever use it because you're only seeing one part of the full tool. Is just the lead better than no pencil at all? Yeah, definitely, without a doubt. But is just the lead what you're supposed to be using? No, it's a whole pencil that comes with it. But I'm sure there are some of you right now that are getting ready to type in my comment section that aren't quite sold on the idea that Taekwondo is useful. So let me leave you with this. Martial arts is a bonus skill added on top of what normal people already know. So if a normal person can see someone kicking and think, hmm, I'm gonna go in close, then the Taekwondo guy also knows that same thing. Meaning all the natural instinctual moves that a non-practitioner would use, the practitioner likely already is aware of and has trained something to counter it. And in the words of my friend Dan Tries TikTok, think about it this way. If the average Joe can do this, the Taekwondo person could do this. Which one's better? Oh, but that's too fancy. You never use that in a fight. Simple enough for you. By the way, uh, definitely follow him on TikTok if you haven't. He's awesome. But thank you guys for checking out the video. It, it means a lot. Make sure you drop a like and subscribe and do all that stuff. But you already know how YouTube works. If you want to see more of my content, subscribe, hit the bell, do the things so that you see more of my content. But with all that said, definitely check out the videos they're suggesting at the end of the video because for some reason they think you'll like it. So, you know, find out if they're right. And I hope I will see you on the next video. But until then, my name is DJ Moore. This is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out.